Hello, sixth graders. It's me, Miss Branko. I'm here to help you with creating your civilization's artwork. Now, this is going to be kind of like a Frankenstein creation, and you might know that Frankenstein is that green guy. He's got the bolts in his neck. He's got stitches all over. But you might not know that in the Frankenstein story, Frankenstein is made of all these different body parts, which is pretty gross, but it's kind of like how this project is going to be. Now, art in general, when you make your own art of any kind, you're pulling from different things in the world for inspiration. Things that you see, things you hear, things you experience. You're going to take little tidbits from other people's artwork and you're going to mix this all together, throw in a little bit of you and make your own little magical art nugget. Now, for this project, we're going to be looking at ancient art and other types of art um, and looking at different aspects of that art and mixing it together to make your civilization's artwork. So let's take a look at how we can get inspired by what we see and then I'm going to show you how you can start making some thumbnails to help plan out your work. Okay, so your first task is to choose the artwork that you're going to get inspired by. Now I'm going to pick three different pieces, but I believe you can choose whatever number of artworks you want to get inspired by. Just try to um, keep notes about where you're getting your inspiration from so that you can explain your choices later. So when I looked at your inspirational art of the ancient world Padlet, I saw that there were a couple of artworks that I thought um, I could use as examples for my own artwork. This earring in particular caught my eye because I like all these little shapes. I've always had a thing for this little arch. So I'm going to take the earring and I'm going to make a mental note of the earring. Um, I'm going to use the abstract painting here because the colors really stand out to me and I wanted to use a 2D artwork as inspiration as well and not just all sculpture. And then um, I noticed a lot of people were really into this hippo. So I've got the earring, the abstract painting, and the hippo. So keep those three in your mind as we move to the next step. Okay, so this is how I'm going to start some thumbnail sketches to plan out for my civilization's artwork. Now. You can make a thumbnail sketch page on any piece of paper. I gave Mr. Sniffin a template, but you really just need to draw some rectangles. Um, and I'm gonna make some notes on the areas around the rectangles, which is where I'm gonna plan the art, uh, to really remember what I'm thinking at this moment. So the three artworks that I chose were the earring, the hippo, and the abstract painting. Now I'm using a Sharpie here so that you can see what I'm doing, but you should really use a pencil so that if you make a mistake, you can erase. That's the good part about planning is that this is when to get out all the mistakes. Okay, so you're also gonna need to think carefully about what is important in your civilization's culture, what kinds of things do they want to make art about? If animals are important to your civilization, you're gonna add that into your artwork. If um, heavy decoration, like in this earring, is important in your civilization, you're gonna add that. You're gonna need to know some things about your civilization's context, where you're located, when your civilization was around, and use those things to design your art. If you were around before um, people could melt metal and make things out of metal, you can't use metal as a material. So what things are important to your culture? And then think about the context. Where, when, what kinds of materials are at your disposal, those kinds of things. Okay, so now, when I am planning my thumbnails, this is really quick drawing. These should be easy to do, and it's not always gonna be your first one that comes out the best. So I'm gonna take the earring, the hippo, and the abstract painting, and I'm gonna think about 
how I can make some artwork out of that. So maybe I'm thinking um, that my civilization needs some, you know, some bowls. So the pottery really plays into a lot of different civilizations and it's got hippos on the side here. This is where a pencil would be really helpful. Here's my hippos. Now, if your drawings are not clear, you can also label things in your thumbnails because you might forget what you've drawn. It's gonna be hard to communicate with other people um, with really fast drawing sometimes. So labeling will help. And maybe in the edges of the bowl, there are some arches cut out. So I'm combining different aspects of each of the artworks into this one artwork. And you can throw in your own stuff. Maybe you like um, kind of geometric design, so you wanna add some of that flair onto it. You can add your own things to this artwork. Okay, so there's the first one. Now maybe um, jewelry is important in my civilization. We're heavily adorned, so maybe I wanna make a big hippo necklace piece. Now excuse my rudimentary hippo. It looks more like a boar. And maybe this is a thing to hold the necklace. And then there's lots of little doodads hanging off. And, hmm. But then it's also heavily colored like the abstract painting. Now this is hard to understand, so I'm gonna label it. Maybe pink blue. Labeling colors is a good idea too. Now maybe we want to design a 2D artwork, so let's see. Maybe, my, I know my civilization is in a mountainous region, so mountains will figure into um, my artworks. Now here's maybe the hippo. is on the mountain. Maybe the sun is important in your civilization. And then you've got a lot of this heavy coloring in the bottom. Who knows? Maybe those arches come in there too. It's almost never the first thumbnail that comes out the best or the most interesting. So really try to fill them all up, even fill up another page if you think you need to work out some more ideas. Good luck. And I'll be back to help you out soon.